Howdy, everybody. It's your pal Misty and her little dude Barnum. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today, we're in the living room for a very special video, and I know what you're thinking. Is it time for Barnum Advent? No, we're not doing that yet. We're going to do it. <laughs> it's a mental hurdle that I can't get past right now, but today I do have a very special video for y'all that y'all have requested, and I have some exciting news that I'm going to share at the end. This video, as you can probably see from the title, I'm going to show you my new barbell. So, several of you thought it was very interesting, said that you had been thinking about or looking into getting a barbell. I had said that I would offer to share, and several of you said, yeah, let's do that. A few of you had even mentioned that you were worried about the room that the barbell took up, so I thought I'd show you all of the pieces that it came with, how to put it together really quickly, and just talk about it from there. So, the first thing is I bought it from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below. I talked to Kirsten at Kirsten Quick Fit and told her that I was interested in a barbell. I had seen her use one on some of her videos, and there was just something about it that my brain said, yeah, let's let's give it a go. So I used my, my Christmas money, and I bought this barbell. The one that I bought is um, from the Step store, I think. Uh, but it's basically a, a four weight barbell set so it comes with four different size weights you start with extra small it gives you the weight in both kilograms and pounds so the extra small is 2.75 pounds and 1.25 kilograms you have just the regular small which is 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds you have a medium, which is 3.75 kilograms or 8.25 pounds. Thanks for the kisses. And then you have the large, which is 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. So you obviously get two of each size. One of the things that I found really interesting about this barbell, and I had kind of even put it in the cart for myself. You want to look the barbell? All right, crazy. He's not crazy. He's special. But is sometimes when you get tired or you just want to do different activities, it has handles. So you can even use it like as a weight for different, for different activities, right? So it comes with two of each of the size of weights. It comes with your bar, which is broken down into three pieces. And then two, what they call collars, which go on the end. So the assembly, we're going to do it real quick. It's super simple. They do advise once you put it together to not put it together and take it apart a lot. Um, but I know, like I said, some of you were still worried about space. You can very easily just store this barbell straight up and down. You thread it on, and I have found over the last few weeks and using it in different workouts that... It doesn't really come loose. Uh, it may be a little bit loose sometimes if I've been kind of wheeling it all over the place. So I do keep a check on it just to make sure that, you know, it's solid before I pick it up. So yeah, you just screw it on. You can see it's got lots of threads so you don't have to worry about it coming apart even if it does kind of loosen up in your workout. You're not going anywhere. It, it's it's going to be on there. So here's your basic bar. Um, from what I remember reading, the bar is five pounds itself. So for anyone who's new, you could just start with the bar. You don't even have to add any weights to it. And this could be a great beginner bar for you to have. It's a powder coated. It's very easy to hang on to. It, it's never had any problems slipping out of my hands, even though I sweat a bunch. <laughs> so I wanted to show you again just how easy it is to put together. Um, for the most part, I've been using the small and the extra small weights so put the weight on place the collar on I like to make sure that it's snug and fit in there and it may be kind of hard to see from your direction hopefully you can see that it's just like a little collar you just close it and then your weight is on there it's not going anywhere you do the same to the other end put your weight on Make sure it's snug up against there. Grab your other collar. Put it on. Close it. What I will say is be aware. I don't know again if I can show you all that, but this collar, it does open and close, so just don't get your fingers caught. 
<laughs> in the place where they shouldn't go. That's about the trickiest part of it. And then you have a barbell that you can do different exercises with. So yeah, I've been loving it. So this is the barbell. You could store it straight up. You could probably store it with weights. I wouldn't suggest that, but you, you probably could. Um, <laughs> but again, you can store just the bar straight up and down. You could take it apart again. It's not highly recommended that you take it apart, so I wouldn't suggest that. But as far as storage, really, this is the biggest storage area you need. <laughs> because this is going to have to go somewhere, and this large weight is the biggest weight that you have. So this area and then space for a bar so overall it doesn't really take up that much area um i mean i don't have a home gym or anything it's just me and my apartment but even me and my little tiny apartment we don't have any problems with these weights so they don't take up much space they've been very useful they're very uh, versatile in the fact that you can just use the weights if you don't want to use the bar there was one routine that i did of kirsten's where i couldn't finish and then she's like, well, put down the bar and just pick up the weight. And I did that, and then I could finish because it was a little bit lighter. So, yeah, so this is the barbell. So why am I extra excited about it and wanted to go ahead and show it to you this week? Let's go to our normal filming location and just uh, wrap this one up for you. So that's it, guys. That's my barbell. And I'm super excited to have it. And I have really been enjoying the workouts. I had bought it and then kind of not done anything with it for a week or two. And as part of the January Reset Your Mind and Body Challenge, Kirsten had incorporated her barbell into one of the routines on a Tuesday. And I was like, that was fun. And so then a few days later, I did one of her other barbell routines that she had on her channel. And I was like, this is a ton of fun. And then I did another one, and that one was fun. And they're so fun, and I've been doing them more than once. And as a crazy person, I comment on all the videos when I can remember. I try to be really good about remembering to comment on all of the ones that I do. And so I was doing these barbell workouts and commenting how fun it was and how, how, how great I felt after I was done. And then Kirsten's like, that's wonderful. You should join me for a live stream this Saturday. That, what? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I talk too much. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of just wanted to show y'all uh, my barbell today and let you know that if you're interested, um, this Saturday, January the 29th at 7.30 a.m. Central, um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on Kirsten Quick Fit and do a live step and barbell workout with her. A 45 minute workout. I'm actually really, really excited about it. I, I like to see y'all work out. And I like to work out when y'all are working out and know that we're working out together. And I know a lot of y'all join Kirsten's live streams and, and some of you do them on the replay. And a lot of you know me. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if y'all want to come and hang out. I'd like for you to work out with us when we do it, of course, because that's kind of the point, but just being there supporting in the chat. Don't be mad if I don't chat at y'all, and this may be the quietest your pal Misty live stream ever, <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited about it, so I just wanted to show you the barbell because some of you were really interested in it, and to let you know that uh, I'm stepping way outside of my comfort zone by not only showing you me working out, but doing so with one of the coaches that I look up to and respect. So I'm really excited. I have to say the nerves about it are, are kind of gone. At first they weren't gone. Uh, but, but now I'm just really excited and happy to be able to be part of the community. And if nothing else, hopefully show y'all that even when you're new, you can still do more than you think you can. And, and then maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do a routine later, later, once I've really improved and just show you how far you can come. So that's sort of the thought process behind it. Um, Kirsten, thank you for asking me to join your live stream. I am really excited to talk to you tonight to get it all set up and uh, excited to talk to everybody else on Saturday morning. Um, and just a real quick shout out after that. It's going to be a busy day for your pal Misty. And this alone shows how much I've changed. I'm doing this uh, live stream in the morning with Kirsten doing steps and barbell. Then I'm going to go meet LB with Pine Trees and Stars to do a 5K. Because why not? Why not do a 45-minute workout and then go walk 3.1 miles? I mean, it's on the agenda. Let's get it done. And then come back home and do Lego live stream with several of you. 
Now, not all of you are doing Lego. I know me, LB, Derek, uh, Maha. Hopefully you can join Maha. We're all going to be doing um, the actual same Lego set. Uh, my friend Carolyn's going to be there. She's going to be my online moderator, so she'll be moderating the chat, but she'll also be on the stream so she can let us know who's coming in, what questions to help me along. So Carolyn, I appreciate that. I know Cheryl, I don't know though if you're doing the same set though, Cheryl, but Cheryl Davis will be there, Risa Bisa will be there, she said she's going to draw, uh, Deanna with Adventures with Deanna is going to be there, she's going to do something creative, uh, Sarah at Shy Sarah Vlogs may not be on the stream, but she did buy a Lego set to build to play with this, no pressure Sarah, if you wanted to show us your set after you're done maybe, or if you change your mind, or if you just want to hang out in the chat, that goes for any of you. I can hold up to 10 people, so if you haven't already committed but you're interested, I can either give you the link on the day, or for those of you who I know are committed, I'm going to be sending you that link probably in the next day or two. And again, that's going to be Saturday at 2 p.m. Central, so live stream, 7.30 a.m. Central, 5K with LB. We gotta we gotta talk about that, LB. We're gonna we gotta talk about that soon. It's it's like five days away. And then two PM Central, like a live stream. Let's get it done, everybody. Such a good time. It's gonna be a great day. I hope to see you there for uh as Becky would say, any or all of it. So like this video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe if you know how, and comment down below. Are you gonna be there for either of the live streams? Both? You gonna catch the replay? <laughs> And until next time, I'll see you real soon. You look so cute like you're made for video. Are you ready? You gonna be in this one? Hmm? You gonna say hi to all your fans? Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm so glad that you're here for the barbell review. Maybe we should do some of it at the desk. No, it's fine. You can participate. Are you going to get nervous when I start putting it all? He's going to get nervous when I start putting it all together. Okay. Let's get him, let's get him some loving and some ear scratches. Let's. Are you? Oh, are you ready? Oh no! Are you ready? Okay. Let's let's start that again, Martin. You don't need to lick my elbow. He's a freak. <laughs> but you're my freak. Oh, jeez, willikers. Okay, let's just do it, Barnum. Am I just going to have to rub you in order to be able to do it? Probably. <laughs> okay. Her lips hurt so bad, guys. Pay no attention if it looks like I'm wearing lip liner. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with y'all who wear lip liner. It's beautiful. I'm not wearing lip liner. My lips are just so chapped. Oh, and they're broken open. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on video or not, but they they hurt. Because y'all make me laugh, and, and they cracked. Too much alcohol, not enough water. Pro tip. And why is the only lip balm that I had Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker? <laughs> what is up with that? That's why they're extra red. I need to get like some petroleum jelly to put on them. Anyway, <clears throat> get it, get it. You just did, I've already done the whole first part. I did like the opening and the hardest part. Now just talk about why. I hope y'all are all feeling better too, by the way. I'm feeling a little bit better. Well, a lot of it better compared to last week. I'm just still not 100%. But I will be. And I'm going to keep working out anyway. Because <laughs> I'm not that sick. Some of you have been super, like, super, super, super sick. I'm, I've just been sick. Okay. 
I shouldn't have talked so much. And then, no, I'm just teasing. I'm really excited, Kirsten. I really, I really am excited, everybody. It's going to be a great, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. I'm super, like, who am I right now? I don't know, but I'm glad to have y'all here watching me be a crazy person. So, welcome. <laughs> Stop feeling about it and do it anyway. Do it anyway. So, I didn't feel about it and doing it anyway. Welcome to the live stream.